you need a macro view if you're in crypto personally i'm a hodler i'm not a day trader i'm not a meme coin chaser and that's just me if you do that you do you and knock yourself out but if you take a macro long-term view imagine that in you know 2017 man you heard all the hype about bitcoin you're like darn it i'm gonna pull the trigger and you bought some for top price and it just dropped the next day from there like a stone and you sold okay so you you acted out of out of emotion but if you had paid attention and done your research and looked at the trends and understood the four-year cycle and you look at how these things worked out if you would have held to the next cycle you would have still multiplied your money long term eventually now there's no guarantees whatsoever no one's saying that if you hodl you will always make money that's not the point here but the point is is if you take a macro view, these relatively shorter term trends, remember Pulse Chain launched in May. So we are like five months away. I mean, you know, it's still a very, very young blockchain. So if you look at this with uh, such a micro view, then you're, you're missing the macro patterns that have yet to really emerge. Obviously you do you and you know your own financial situation. So everyone has to do what's best for them, right? So no judgment there whatsoever if you're set or if you're holding. But my point is, you know, if you look at this from a broader perspective, we haven't even seen, you know, the patterns really start to form on where Pulse Chain is going and what it can do long term. When I say long term, I'm thinking, you know, four, five, six, eight years. And then you start seeing these macro patterns, especially compared to where Bitcoin and Ethereum and other chains are going every major cycle.